Hey everybody, I'm back for another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare for derpy. Now, there's not really a whole lot I can say, but I'm going to give you guys some basic tips on what you should be doing for this week. To begin with, the most important thing is skill grinding. Now, there's a couple skills you're going to be wanting to grind. Alchemy, farming, foraging. To start with, you're going to go ahead and start farming. What are you going to farm? Well, you're going to farm sugarcane. Let me explain. So, sugarcane is used in alchemy. For example, you use enchanted sugar to be able to gain a high amount of alchemy XP in a lot in a short period of time. And because Derpy gives you such a high amount of skill XP due to the fact that you get 50% extra skill XP, getting this enchanted sugarcane is going to be super important to level alchemy. Also, the sugarcane is going to be able to level your farming level. So there's a couple things you're going to want. First off, you're going to want to build a sugarcane farm. Now on my island, I do not have a farm, but I will link a guide to make a sugarcane farm in the comments. So if you guys need that, it'll be there. Second thing second is you're going to want to get a mathematical hoe blueprint. And let me show you where to get it. To get this blueprint, once you get to the hub, you're going to go over here, you're going to go upstairs, and you're going to talk to Anita. And Anita is going to ask for one gold medal and 32 Jacobs tickets. Now you may be asking, I don't have a gold medal. Well, let me give you some tips. In the Skyblock calendar, there is Jacobs farming events every hour, and you're going to be wanting to do these. The ones that I recommend are wheat, mushroom, and cactus. So every time you see a wheat, mushroom, and cactus farm contest, you're going to want to do those until you get eight bronze medals. Then you're going to go talk to Anita again. You're going to talk to Anita and you're going to go to metal trades. You're going to click this four times and then you're going to click this one time. And then you're going to go ahead and buy the mathematical hoe blueprint. After you get the blueprint, you're going to craft it into a sugarcane hoe and you're going to upgrade that hoe as much as possible, hopefully to the max. Now there's a few other things you're going to want to grab. For example, you're going to be wanting to grab a rabbit pet. A level one epic rabbit pet is only a hundred thousand coins. So it's pretty cheap and you're going to want to grab this one up quickly. So go ahead and get a level one epic rabbit pet and that's going to help increase your farming XP rates. Now that you have your hoe, your farm, and your pet, you're going to go ahead and mine a whole lot of sugarcane. In fact, you're going to mine, you're going to be mining around almost six stacks of enchanted sugarcane. Yes, this is a lot, but it's going to be worth it. So your farming level is going to increase and I'm going to explain on how to level your alchemy level. Okay. First, what you're going to need to do is get all of the sugarcane you have and you're going to get, you're going to match that. You're going to match that with enchanted glowstone dust. Next, you're going to place down however many brewing stands you're going to need. Once you place down all your brewing stands, you're going to make awkward potions. Then you're going to put in your sugarcane. Then you're going to put in your glowstone and then you're going to be good. But before you claim those potions, you're going to want to invest into a epic jellyfish pet. These pets can be kind of expensive, but they're going to be worth it because as soon as derpy is over, you can go ahead and sell it back and you're most likely going to get this pet to level 100 and let's see how much a level 100 jellyfish sells for a level 100 jellyfish lowest bin sells for 18 million coins and a level one sells for 7.2 and yeah so go ahead and get your jellyfish your sugar cane your brewing stands and your enchanted glowstone dust and once you're done collecting those you should be able to sell all of these potions for a good amount of coins back so make sure you're using these glowstone blocks or else you might not make as much coins as you want and i already made a guide on foraging so if you need help with that go ahead and click the video that's right on the screen now thank you guys so much and have a great day